Yo, what's up everybody? It's me, Ryan. Alright. So, getting finally to the video of the Flash Forge 3D printer. Alright. I had it all set up on my desk. It was taking up too much room, so I had to unplug it for a while. I still need to get a new laptop to use this because my old laptop took a crap on me. So basically in the last video you saw was I had a 3D printer stand that I made personally. Um, if you guys want them, let me know. I'll probably set up something soon to start selling them or put some on eBay. Probably put a link to it in the video eventually. Uh, this is my Flash Forge 3D printer. I have used it for simple, complicated, and uh, very easy things to do. Like, I did a few things around my house with it. I made these so I can put my phone up higher if I'm sitting on the couch or something. So I can put my 3D printed phone stand on there. Um, the Flash Forge 3D printer is all around a good printer. I've never had no problems with it. It doesn't overheat. Um, you get the standard guide with it. You get your cord for a... Um, I'm going to call it a replicator. I know it's not the right word for it. But it basically, it's just called a scanner, I think. It scans the object that you want to print. Uh, they gave me a glue stick with it. And then the power cord and also that came with it as well. I had to look over there because I have everything laid out right here. Um, I haven't done much with it in the past year. I'm planning on getting a new one. Probably a taller one so I can do a sword or something. Because I've always thought about freaking getting a sword. <laughs> But uh, no, I'm, I want enjoyment out of my life, so this is why I'm trying to do this. Um, yeah. But now, if you're beginning and you don't know how to use a 3D printer, this will teach you a lot. If you're self-learning, it will teach you a lot. Just remember, this platform slides out. This platform I used probably maybe 100 to 200 times. The um, plexiglass behind here... I had to remove the uh, label, and you had to buy a new label to put it on the plexiglass. It is very easy to get out, uh, but be careful that you do not break it. They also give you a little packet of grease for this, these uh, shafts back here, and the uh, ge uh, gear that drives it up and down. Um, the biggest thing I ever did was like one of the Mario cubes. It was about this big, about this tall. So it is a pretty good print area with my hand there. It prints as far as down as from there up to there. But it was a pretty good, it was a pretty big cube. I was, I was impressed with it. Um, so yeah, uh, I do, I do admit if you want to start getting 3D printing and you're just a beginner, get one of these. Uh, the playtime ones are more for like littler kids that make their own toys or whatever. Uh, the filament, it's not really cheap. It's like 30 to $40 a roll. But me, I didn't want to keep buying these ones for the back here because what happens is there's the antenna that slides over there and uh, it does that. So from what we have here, I will make sure I do a thorough more video if I have it or if you guys want. I will probably get a new video once I get a new a uh, 3D printer because that's one I've been trying to sell but nobody wants to buy it. Um, so yeah, all right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you might have learned a lot. And if you have any questions or concerns, anything at all, you can always hit me up in my comments. I will respond back in a timely fashion. Thank you. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake.